Hi students, I got a lot of emails today about having troubles calculating the growth rate, which is simply just the percentage change in real GDP. So I figured I'd make a quick video to show you how to do that. So what I did here was I pulled uh, some GDP data. So I took the fourth quarter of 2013 and the real GDP uh, was 15,942.3. Uh, that is in billions of dollars. Uh, so that's actually 15 trillion 942 billion 300 million dollars was the real GDP in 2013 and then I took the year that I was born uh, around the second quarter of the year I was born and that ended up being a uh, seven thousand eight hundred and eleven point five but again that's in billions of dollars so therefore that's seven trillion eight hundred and eleven billion five hundred million dollars of production uh, that was done in 1986. So remember this is real GDP so it has been adjusted for inflation. All right so let's go ahead and we'll calculate the growth rate. So the growth rate is simply just the percentage change in real GDP. So the percentage change is going to be the ending value that you're looking at, whatever value you want to end with, minus the beginning value that you're using, and you're going to divide this by the beginning value. And then we're just going to times it by 100 just to get it into a rate. So this is a growth rate, so uh, we're just going to see a rate, a percentage change. The ending value is going to be what we're ending at, which is the 2013. So it'll be 5942.3. We are going to subtract the beginning value, and that beginning value is going to be 7811.5, and we want to divide it by that beginning value, 7881.5. Multiply that by 100, and let's see what we get. Let's go to our calculator, and we have 15942.3 minus 7811.5. Divide that by 7811.5. We want to multiply that by 100 to get it into a rate, and we have 104.09, if we round it to two decimals, percent. So 104.09 percent. So what that tells us is between 1986 and 2013, we've seen a growth rate of real GDP of 104.09 percent.